How are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good. How's the start of the week? Started well. How did your start? Really well, too. Yeah. So today we're talking about choices and consequences. And mm. once again, I'm speaking directly to teenagers. I'm happy when it's holiday time because teenagers get to be at home and they can also listen to us. Because normally, welcome my parents. So uh, teenagers, you can actually listen and um, I'm talking to you directly. And if you're a parent and you're listening, you've got a teenager, please send them a message. Let them know that their show is on and they need to t- tune in. Mm-hmm. We're so also live on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, maybe let me just start by defining teenagers because as funny as it may be, a lot of times I get messages from parents or even calls and they say, ah, I'm a teenager, I'm only 22 years old. I say, a teenager <laughs> as a person whose birthday ends with a teen, so 13, 14, 15, up to 19. That's what a teenager is. And those are the people that I'm talking to today. So the teenage phase, those seven years, are very critical. It's a period where the choices that you make, the decisions that you make, will determine the rest of your life. Ironically, when you're a teenager, you're just moving from being a child. You're a novice about life. You don't know much. You're inexperienced. And yet, at that time, when you're still just learning about life, you're expected to make decisions that will alter the rest of your life. Given that, it is then therefore very important that you do a lot of research, you read a lot, and I know this is a very unpopular opinion, especially to you as teenagers. You need to listen to adults. Give them mm-hmm. the benefit of the doubt, because mm-hmm. they are older. They've experienced things that you haven't experienced. So they, by virtue of that, they definitely know certain things that you do not know. So listen to them. You may learn uh, something that's very important that will help you to make quality decisions, decisions that you will not regret when you are when you're an adult. So I want to share with you facts about choices. So these are things that you need to always have at the back of your mind before you make choices. So you're going to be making choices about different things, choices about uh, your academics, the attitude that you will have towards teachers, the subjects that you will take, whether you will take school seriously or not, the clubs that you will join at school, choices about dating, choices about friends, all those little choices are going to de- determine uh, who you're going to um, become as an adult. So these are facts that I always want you to write. For now, you're writing them on a piece of paper, but then I want you to write them on your heart so that every day, every time when you're faced with uh, choices to make, you make reference to them. The first fact is you have freedom of choice, but you can't control the outcomes. So yes, you are a free moral agent. You can choose, you can make choices, you can choose whatever you want, but then you do not have the power to determine what happens after you've met that, uh, after you've met that choice. So what then that says is you need to start with the end in mind or begin with the end in mind before you make that choice. Think about all the possible consequences. Think about the good and the bad. Okay, you've made this decision. What is likely going to happen in, in the future as a result of that decision? And always take your time. You know, a lot of times we feel like we need to quickly respond. Even when it comes to our phone calls, when it comes to our messages, sometimes mm-hmm. somebody sends a message. You don't have to reply there and there. If you need time to think about it, think about it. But there's always this pressure to actually make a decision right away. So try and teach yourself to take time. Because yes, you're free. You can make any choice. But then you're not free from the uh, outcomes or from the con- consequences. And if you're making a decision without the consent of your parents, you then have to know that when it comes to consequences, you must be able to deal with them without your parents as well. So sometimes as teenagers, you make decisions alone. You don't want to involve your parents. But then when it comes to the consequences, now you are overwhelmed mm-hmm. and you, you run to your parents and your parents are now being dragged into things that they have nothing uh, uh, to do with. So you have to be careful about that. Remember that fact. You have freedom of choice, but you don't have the power to control the outcomes. And then number two, choices can be kept secret, but the consequences will never be. So yes, choices are secret, but uh, the consequences are public. How many times have you had parents saying, ah, Mm. They never knew. That means whatever happened, whatever choice was made, was made secret. But then the 
uh, the consequence, the outcome is now out there for everyone to see. You may not know what you're doing. Maybe you're even in boarding school. We don't know the kind of guys you, uh, you chill out with. We don't know what you do during uh, school time, the time that you're supposed to be studying, the time that you're supposed to be in class. Maybe you're playing. Maybe you're the cool guy at school. Maybe I don't, I don't even know what you are. But at the end of the day, when results come, we will... We uh, will know. Yeah, we will know. <laughs> we will know. We are know. We know. We know. I remember uh, once some years ago talking to uh, my uh, mind for this. So uh, she had this son who was so quiet. And, you know, you, you know there's, so, there's some people who are so quiet that parents will actually get worried about them. Mm. Yes, you don't want my anonymous scans, but I'm not this, but you also don't want somebody who's too quiet. Yes. Now, you don't know, okay, what's happening? <laughs> okay, I need to do something to help them become more social and all that. And then she goes to um, the consultation day. He was in Form 1. And then when he, when she went, um, before they got into class, because she, she arrived when they were um, having their break time, and a lot of girls started shouting like his his name. Hmm. Well, that he, like his school name, I don't I don't remember the name. But yeah, like the, a nickname. A nickname, but the name inferred that he was like the boys. I'm, I mean, the girl's boy. Eh? Like every girl like wanted him, mm. and he was so popular at school. So now <laughs> she was surprised. I mean, this is the very quiet. Oh, child. This is my quiet boy. Yeah, and now <laughs> in school he's like ah. somebody else. So kids can have two personalities, like a home personality. They definitely can. Ah. Because most teens spend very little time at, yeah, I get at you. home. Yeah. Because most of the time they're in school and then they're just in their room. And you're thinking they're quiet, yet they're talking to a thousand friends on social media. Because social media <laughs> is as, as just as good as being conversational also. The same way you would converse with, person, or with somebody in person, now you're just doing it over the phone. So yeah, you can be making your own um, decisions. At school, they're secret. Nobody at home knows. But the results will be public and we will all know. <laughs> Number three, while you can make choices as a group, you will always face the consequences independently. Mm, so true. So it's important to follow your peace. There are times, and this happens even to adults, there are times when you want to make a decision because everyone else within your clique is making that decision, but then you don't have this peace in your heart. Maybe your heart is actually beating fast that you feel like, no, this is wrong, I shouldn't do this. So you should follow your peace. When you're not settled in your heart, don't make that decision. And like I've already said, you don't have to make that decision now. It's not a life and death uh, issue. You can you can give yourself time. You can excuse yourself from that group. And what you should also understand is your backgrounds are very different. You come from different families. And when something that may be acceptable in family A may not be acceptable in your, your own family. Maybe the guys that you're playing with who are not so serious about school but you're in a family business already and it's guaranteed that after school they're going to take over the business and they will be the next CEO or whatever, mm. regardless of how they perform um, academically. Mm. But your circumstances are different. So you have to know that your, 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 your consequences will be independent, very different from the same person that you're playing with. We all have stories of those people who would play a lot at school, but they ace their exams. And now they're, they're, they're living a big life and maybe we're not as as, 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 as as successful as they are, but there was a time when we would make choices together. So it's important to always uh, think about your own uh, personal life. If you're impregnated, for example, the guy who impregnated, uh, who impregnated you is not going to walk around with the pregnancy. And I mean, girls are always disadvantaged in that sense hmm. because people will talk about you as the girl and they will never make mention of the boy. And even if they mention the boy isn't there, there's nothing to show that he's the one who's responsible. So make decisions for yourself. Don't make decisions for other people. Maybe you were pressure, pressurized, you're a boy, you're a girl, you're pressurized, you ended up sending a nude. Don't send that nude because of pressure. Don't let the fear of missing out push you into making decisions. Because when you make that decision, you will face the consequences alone. The watcher ground when the watcher turned your phone. If they leak out, people will see your face. People will talk about you, and they may not even make mention of the person who made you do that. And then the next uh, point, next fact that you should keep in your uh, in your heart is, don't try to save face. 
rather save your future. Mm. So sometimes they are, maybe you've made a mistake and then you're thinking, oh, if I own up, if I tell my parents about this, what are they going to think about me? Oh, uh, what, what if my friends find out? What, what if people f at church find out that this is what has happened to me, yet I've got this holy uh, child image? That's All of that is going to be destroyed. But think about your future. Think about the bigger picture. What then happens is in trying to save your face, maybe you're going to end up making another mistake, which is even bigger. I've just given an example of nudes. You've already done that. And then maybe the guy or the boy is now threatening you and saying, if you don't send more, I'm going to do this or do that. Mm. So in that process, it's important to just own up, find somebody who's, who's, who's uh, older to open up to so that they help you and they stop the whole thing. And then your future is saved. Rather than saying, okay, let me just send so that, uh, because if I don't send, they will leave the, the, the videos and I don't know what's going to happen to my image. So don't try sa to save face rather save your future because your future is bigger and more important and then the next thing here that i wrote down is um low key decisions today high key consequences tomorrow so um there are certain small decisions you know that they appear to be very small but those decisions could actually like determine um a significant portion of your future and i would like to give an example so maybe you may be that person or that child you want to go out uh, for parties and maybe you are always arguing with your parents and your parents are like no you're not going to go to sleepovers but you want to go and then maybe you sneak out i'll tell you a story this happened some years ago so there's a girl that sneaked out she was invited to a, a pool party so mm -hmm. she then went to the pool party against um, uh, her parents wishes she wasn't allowed but then she sneaked out she went there so in her mind she thought it was going to be like a large pool party where there would be lots of people and all and then she gets to the party venue only to see that there were five guys and then there were uh five girls and so now the um, the other four uh the other four girls had their boyfriends the four and mm -hmm. then they they had an extra boy and then she didn't have a boyfriend and now you know how it is when you are in such settings everyone else is with someone yeah. and then you end up like just linking up with them uh with someone because you've met there and then uh at that party for the first time she then ended up uh trying alcohol and you know how it is when you do things for the first time mm. you're the one who will be affected cut the long story short uh she ended up being taken at the uh, advantage of uh next night she realized that she'd been raped but then because this is these are things that have happened uh um under the parents noses you know it's then difficult to go back home report and all that so she was taken uh, by the friends for pregnancy test and all that but you can imagine she had to deal with this whole issue alone hmm. why because she was in a group setting and in that group setting uh, she couldn't make her own um independent uh, decision and it was a, a low-key decision okay let me just uh go to the pool party with my friends it's not going to be a big thing my parents will not find out she thought it was a very small decision but then it led to a very big consequence that she's mm -hmm. going to have to uh stick out with for the rest of her life because she's she, she's definitely not going to forget what happened so as teenagers be very mindful of that and then the last thing that i'll say is don't make decisions based on social media mm -hmm. you know i keep saying this just because ronaldo has the most followers the most um, impressions whatever on social media doesn't necessarily mean he's the most intelligent and every advice he will give concerning any um, topic is necessarily better I guess than people are not ready to hear that but then <laughs> it's important yeah it is yeah, so some, sometimes yeah. uh, teens just take things from social media and they say ah even so and so say that but who is that person uh, are their values in that particular subject compatible with your own with your own values and sometimes people also make decisions based on the number of likes that they get, the, li the number of engagement that they get. And interestingly, people love crazy stuff. Those are the kind of things that trend. There are people who write crazy stuff or do crazy stuff on social media. If you meet them on, on, in person, you'll be surprised. They'll be like, ah, why are you doing this? You shouldn't do this. Give you good advice. But in other social media page, you go, yeah, <laughs> and see what they'll be posting. You'll be like, hey you are you the same person <laughs> so, yeah. it's, so, so it's important as teenagers don't don't make decisions based on um on, on social media based on what you're just getting on internet don't just say i read at uh, this 
have a critical mind question things uh, what's the source do you agree with uh, with the source do you agree with the values of the person who's written that thing so teenagers i want you to remember that your choices your decisions are like a gps and you can use them to navigate uh, to your success or they can guide you to regrets later in the future so think about that be very careful and even as i'm speaking some of you are at the verge of making decisions some of you are about to send nudes some of you are being pressurized to get into sexual stuff that you're not yet ready to make a decision remember to follow your peace um so i think our time is up i'm just going to give my number if you're a teenager you're battling with a certain decision and you want advice which is important uh, please feel free to send me a whatsapp message to my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is 0773-606-728 0773-606-728 and if you're also a parent and you want to be part of our whatsapp groups where we discuss issues to do with teenagers feel free to send in your name and your child's name to that number as well thank you so much uh, coach Tefazo. we look forward to next week's session um yeah uh, always really insightful information for our teenagers taking our time to 11 o'clock star fm Sounding good all the time. It's time for the news.